The Informer Media Group can authoritatively reveal that the teacher's employer, the Teacher Service Commission TSC, is mired a possible tendering scam after it has emerged that the controversial 149 billion shilling medical insurance cover contract was regularly awarded to a registered insurance broker instead of an underwriter as specified in the tender document, thereby denying teachers the full value of the contract executed by the consortium and the TSC. The contentious tender award to Minet Insurance Brokers, MIBK, has since been challenged through a letter addressed to the Insurance Regulatory Authority, IRA. Our investigations have also established that teachers cannot access healthcare since most pre-qualified hospitals dedicated to offer medical services to them have since discontinued and majority are being turned away to seek medical attention elsewhere. Our sources spoke on condition of anonymity for fear of reprisals intimated, quote-unquote, Teachers residing in Nairobi are being referred to a hospital based in Kikuyu. We cannot access health services anymore and our employer, the TSC, has remained mum over the matter. End of quote. Questions have also emerged over whether the contract was awarded with all the parties involved in the process completely failing to address infractions of the law, despite earlier protests by the teachers that the insurance provider was offering substandard services. And despite notifications of the procurement process violations, the TSC's tender supply chain has remained silent on the matter. A letter by lawyer Wairegi Gateto to the Insurance Regulatory Authority IRA through its Commission of Insurance details how Minet Insurance Brokers Kenya Limited, a successful intermediary in a 2022-2025 tender that sought to provide teachers with comprehensive medical insurance cover, illegitimately transformed itself to an underwriter thereby denying teachers the full value of the multi-billion shilling contract. Emerging details indicate TSC has contrary to Section 156.2 of the Insurance Act paid over 149 billion shillings in medical insurance premiums to MIB over a period of 10 years. The TSC standard document TSC stroke T stroke 01 stroke 2022 to 2025 had sought the services of a consortium to provide comprehensive medical insurance to teachers under a three year framework contract renewable annually. The contract is, however, said to have been irregularly awarded to a registered insurance broker instead of an underwriter as specified in the tender document, thereby denying teachers the full value of the contract executed by the consortium and the TSC. In insurance parlance, a medical insurance provider works as an intermediary to place medical insurance businesses with insurers where risk carriers are the insurance firms or underwriters. While MIBK as an intermediary is supposed to remit 100% of the said premiums to the medical insurance providers for a commission as per Section 156 Number 5 of the Insurance Act, it has not, according to the returns submitted to the IRA by the underwriters concerned, been remitting the premiums and the 10% commissions payable under the Insurance Act. Controversy over the award of the 149 billion shilling medical insurance comes in the wake of reports that the medical administrator Kenya Limited MAKL, which oversees the medical insurance schemes for teachers, National Police Service and the Kenya prisons, is yet to remit 11.6 billion shillings to hospitals for services rendered. The teacher's medical scheme is said to have accumulated 7.6 billion shillings, while the police and prisons owe hospitals 4 billion shillings in arrears. In a letter dated April 9 to hospitals, MAKL blamed the accumulated arrears on delayed disbursements from the National Treasury, something that is threatening to cripple provision of health services. MAKL stated, quote-unquote, this has been prompted by a delay in remittance of funds by our mutual client. In light of the above, Medical Administrator Kenya Limited wishes to reaffirm our commitment to making payments as of when we receive the anticipated funds from our mutual client, end of quote. In the latest deal, Gateto claims that only a mega 2.68% of the premium is remitted to the risk carriers in the consortium, as the concerned insurance and insurance regulators strikingly watch on silently in a scheme that is manifestly illegal as it is dumbfounding. Further, the lawyer in the document claims that TSC has no clear policy document that it has been operating on to determine the benefits due to the teachers if the premiums payable to the insurers remain unremitted, whilst the law prescribes insurance as a cash and delivery service.
It has also emerged that the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, has equally lost premium tax over gross premium of over 149 million shillings since the said amount was never received by the concerned insurance firms. Whereas at the core of any tender process is the requirement to ensure value for taxpayers' money, it is common ground that any contract entered into by a procuring entity and the successful bidder must be in line with the law and the requirements of the tender document itself. A proper analysis of the tender in issue clearly shows that it was a brokerage insurance procurement tender that involved a consortium of underwriters who are the ultimate beneficiaries of the premiums. But the contract prescribed payment of such astronomical premiums to intermediary floods in the face of the law and the tender requirement. Gatet was said in the document seen beneath former media group, quote unquote, suffice it to state, it remains to be seen what nature of supervision, if any, is carried out by the TSC and IRA to ensure that the contract achieves the substance of the tender in the aforesaid circumstances, end of quote. In forgoing the law firm which has previously put TSC on notice on several occasions regarding a number of infractions of the law in the caption tenders demanded that IRA within seven days formally confirm what percentage of the premium was remitted to the risk carriers per year over the last 10 years. The tetra says, quote-unquote, we further request you to establish how the risk carriers provided cover, if indeed they did, with a receipt from the tendered premiums in full and also confirm what sort of supervision, if any, you have carried out of a Minnet Insurance Brokers Limited as a medical insurance provider, bearing in mind their role in this matter. End of quote. The insurance industry regulator has also been tasked to confirm if the policy document issued an insurance contract by the successful consortium is in conformity to the tender and the contract entered into between the consortium and the procuring entity. Gatetra demanded, quote unquote, we also want you to confirm that the insurance underwriters or risk carriers in the consortium are liable to pay KRA a premium tax income tax and any other statutory tax for the 149 billion shillings paid and retained by Minet insurance brokers over a period of 10 years, end of quote. A failure to avail the information sought, the law firm indicated it would not shy away from instituting appropriate legal proceedings without any further reference to IRA at its risk of legal costs and other incidental consequences. Among the officials addressed in the letter headlined unlawful or illegal contract for provision of tissues medical insurance cover is the head of procurement at TSC, Director General in charge of Public Procurement Regulatory Authority, the Auditor General, the head of Public Service, Felix Koske, Attorney General, Principal Secretary in charge of the Ministry of Financing and National Treasury, alongside his counterpart at the Ministry of Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action.